friend of mine recently mentioned to me that Gotti Gotti Coon has got a new flavor that's like a special thing going on that um, it kind of piqued my interest, so I wanted to check it out. So I busted up into the 7-Eleven and I grabbed it. Um, for those of you who may not realize, Gotti Gotti Coon is like a popsicle manufacturer, basically. And um, they are quite popular here and a lot of them are really cheap where they're like under a dollar a piece. But every once in a while they have specials of odd flavors and stuff that are a little more expensive that they label under the Rich brand. And they're like a dollar fifty, and this happens to be one of those. In the past we've had like pasta flavored ones, and we had one that was like a corn stew that was just dreadfully bad. But I kind of have high hopes for this one because it doesn't seem like they're still, they're staying in the realm of sweets with this. They're not like jumping into the realm of pasta. <laughs> So, I kind of have high hopes, and um, this specific Gotti Gotti Kun is called a Kuro Mitsu Kinako Mochi flavor. Kuro Mitsu is like, like kind of like liquefied brown sugar, and um, Kinako is like, what is that? It's, it's like the powder of a soybean, I think is what it is. Um, kinako itself doesn't have much flavor, but it's usually paired up with mochi, and it's like the whole texture experience is like quite nice. Um, I believe in the past, and I think it was in Yamanashi, Katie and I made a video series there and we went to a factory that specializes in Kuromitsu Kinako Mochi. And it was, it was a really cool experience to see the factory and everything. So um, I'll, I'll put a link to like that video like above me or below me or in the description or whatever. So if you want to see what this stuff looks like in its normal form, then you'll be able to see that. But anyway, let's, let's get into this popsicle. It's cold outside, so I can talk forever without it melting. <laughs> but let's get up in this popsicle. And um, I'm shooting this alone today, so I'm having a little bit of trouble. I got this popsicle like between my knees. <laughs> I'm trying to get it out. I was smart though, because I pre-opened the package beforehand. Okay, so the coloring is kind of caramel color, so it looks kind of like they knit, mix that brown sugar stuff with the kinako, it's kind of what the, the color you would get. And it very, very much smells like the little treats that we had at that factory. Um, so that's exciting because that stuff is good, and if they've nailed it, well, what am I doing? Why, why do I need it? Eat it, Eric. Eat the popsicle. <laughs> it's cold. Oh my god, it tastes a lot like that stuff, like they really nailed the flavor. Um, this is way more ice creamy than popsicle because I'm assuming that's actually real mochi on the inside, but the outside is like ice, like a popsicle would be. And that's where the flavor from the, from the, the, the brown sugar and the um, kinako is, but the inside is really thick. So I don't know if they've used real mochi or if they've used some sort of ice cream that they've emulated it with. It's really chewy like mochi. Like, the texture is very mochi like. So if this is just ice cream, they've got some sort of wizardry going on. This is one of the best Gadi Gadi Kun I've ever had. This is very, very good. And it tastes, I mean, they've maintained that, like Japanese sweets and everything. Yeah, yeah. If you're in Japan while this special is going on, you'd be a fool not to try this. As periodically happens, sometimes as soon as you shut the camera off, something amazing happens, and I bit down, I got past the mochi ice creamy stuff, and I actually hit like a little landmine of the, um, the liquefied brown sugar. And that's incredible. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, you know, everybody's eating some brown sugar with a spoon, you know? Like, you've done that. <laughs> Liquefy it and put it in an ice cream bar. There's nothing wrong with this. Oh, man. Look at that. Even more. Oh. Oh, Lord. If you're new to our channel and don't know what kind of videos that this uh, we usually have, it's usually a series of videos that my wife and I make together about uh, traveling around the world, traveling in Asia, traveling all over Japan. We live in Japan, and the reason she's not here right now is because she's in America at the moment, and I'm not. So, um... I'm making videos about popsicles all by myself. <laughs> uh, so anyway, yeah, there's some links around my head and stuff. You can click those if you're interested in more videos. And for anybody curious, after seeing how good that popsicle was and like going on about how you gotta come to Japan to get one and like, you know, be here in the right popsicle season and everything, I started thinking Katie should probably have one. So bust it up in there and got another one. <laughs> I think she'll like it. And if she doesn't, two popsicles for me, it's all good. <laughs>